the, the volume is a little bit low. You can see the, the script title. Freelancer, you know that uh, that you know that kind of uh, jobs, uh, you know the duty that you have ever had is so be relevant. It can help a little bit. It also can count it as an experience. Yeah. So then, of course, you feel free to put on that in your resume. Yeah, that is also good. Yeah, please. If you're gonna apply for this job position, it's a permanent job position. Yeah. Any experience that you have, for example, while you are a student, then you have any part-time job, or you have any, for example, internship experience, feel free to, to put on there. Put, in, put those uh, experience that you have ever had in your resume. Yeah, otherwise, because uh, you know, for you to be a new, you know, fresh graduate student, you know, it's not possible for you to have very sufficient full-time experience, right? Yeah, so then for those experience that you have ever had, you know, during your school year, yeah, feel free to put those, if those, I mean, I, it should be under the circumstances that those experience will be a little bit relevant to the, the job position that you are applying for. Yeah, okay. If it's nothing relevant, then well, it depends. If that just only for, for example, a month, two months, if the time period is too short, it's also not that decisive. Then 
Yeah. Only if like, and then actually there's also another another uh, issue I have to remind you because for some of you, um, after you graduate from school, for some people, they might change their job quite often, at, especially at the beginning. For example, your first job position, you might just only stay there for three months only. Yeah. But then after that, your second job position, you stay only, for example, also four months. Okay. And then this is the third job position that you are applying for that. Do you have to put this, uh, you know, experience in there, in your resume? Um, I would say, like, if I were you, I would put that in there. Yeah, but of course, uh, you know, if you have this kind of uh, experience, I would encourage you to stop doing that. Because for each job uh, experience that you have after your, you know, your school, um, at least you have to keep in that position at least for a year or two years. Because if you change your job too often, you know, for the employer, you know, they check for your, you know, your resume. How do they feel? Positive or negative? More negative, exactly. Because I, you know, if I'm the interviewer, okay, I'm the employer, I see, I see these candidates uh, for the past two years, he or she has already changed for maybe three to four jobs. Then I will, you know, my my perception about these candidates would be, you know, for this person, for him or her to come to this job position, if, even though I give him or her the job offer, can he or she stay long? No. Actually, it's also kind of the attitude, yeah. Some people, some students, they also, you know, after they graduate, uh, or some friend of mine, they complain a lot, you know, for their job. Of course, we all complain about our work, right? Nothing is perfect. But then that is also, you know, on the way that you complain about your job, you know, on the other hand, you also try, you, you are also learning. Learning about what? Learning how to overcome the difficulties that you are confronted with. Okay. Right? It's not like, well, you know, my, you know, sometimes I, I heard about my, some people, they complain about their supervisor, their colleagues, yeah, but then, well, it could be the, the problem is on themselves, right? It might not be all the problem is, you know, are on other people, but then automatically we complain, we thought about all the problems are from others. Okay, instead of us. We don't really evaluate for ourselves. We always try to evaluate for others more, right? Yeah, so that is also an attitude for you to adjust yourself. Whatever problem that you have confronted with, you know, you try to evaluate for yours, for yourself, yeah. If you can solve the problem, then, you know, that is also for you, it's also kind of some little bit kind of learning. It's a little bit kind of show on your attitude. That is the issue that I mentioned to you uh, last week, you know, about my, my, my niece, my sister's uh, daughter. Yeah, it's the thing. She complained. Yeah, she cried about like kind of, well, you know, she always has to work overtime or during the weekend. Like, it's just new, you know. So then there's a lot of things that she has to learn. So next day, yeah, she still go to work. Yeah. Sometimes I also, you know, when I see her, I also try to encourage her. I, I tell, I would tell her, I know it's a little bit tough for you, you know, as a, you know, new graduate. Yeah. Uh, you are new, new to this uh, job position. You are new to this environment, this organization. Everything is new to you. And then, you know, for, you know, to be a student compared to be 
an employee, a staff, is totally different. Yeah. So then, you know, it's also kind of for you, it's also a little bit learning process. Yeah. But then there are some people, they have the shortage of this capability. So then they complain. Okay. So then, well, they say that, uh, and especially for some, for some people, if their family, you know, has a kind of good family background, they don't have to worry about the, you know, kind of the finan financial problems. So then, well, they would just feel like, well, I just do whatever I want, you know. The worst thing is I quit the job, so then I go back home, I come with my parents. Yeah, my parents, you know, if I stay with my parents and then I say, uh, you know, I don't have to pay for the rent, nothing, and then I eat at home, yeah, so then, well, why not? Yeah, why do I have to suffer from this uh, lousy supervisor, sort of? Yeah, and then this also become an attitude. Yeah, so then, you know, that's what I mentioned. Try to avoid from, like, kind of quitting the job, you know, so often. So then that's why, as I mentioned, before you, you know, when you graduate from school, you know, your first job is very important because you have to take into real uh, serious consideration, okay? And also the industry that you are interested. Yeah, and then if you decided to take it, then stay there at least a year. Otherwise, if you go to that company at the beginning, of course, uh, you know, as we know, like there are some company, they also hide for themselves, right? They don't really tell the truth for the employee. Then if you find out like, well, it seems uh, it says a big gap from your understanding about this company, try to quit the job as soon as possible. I think you can also, you also have the wisdom or the knowledge, you know, to identify this company, does this company, you know, it's a, it's a good company or not then you can either quit the job, you know, within two days. Yeah, all right? So I think like it won't be that like after like three months that you find out like this uh, company, you know, it's not that appropriate for you. Yeah, okay? If you decided to stay, then stay there at least a year or two years. That accumulate for your job experience. Right. This is a very important uh, word attitude. Yeah, because now they in the job market, uh, especially for the young people. Yeah, they are a little bit like we call it like the jelly group. You know, jelly generation or strawberry generation. You know what does it mean by that? No, it indicates they are quite fragile. You know. If I got, got complained by their supervisor, Jelly, it indicates if you if you smash it, can it be smashed? Yeah, it would be easy to be smashed, right? Jelly generation, or before we have this uh, strawberry generation, now I think it's a bit more told to jelly uh, generation. Yeah, it's that indicates they cannot suffer from all this uh, stress. Right, yeah. Try to make yourself a little bit stronger. Okay, let's uh, take a tennis break. We come back for our next topic.